Hey, how y'all doing? Ryan, welcome back to another video. So today I'll be keeping it very short and very cute, hopefully. Uh, I have somewhere to be. I have a few things to do today and it requires me getting ready and, you know, looking alive and well and fresh and fertile. Huh? But no, that's not a point. Oh my goodness, I'm so embarrassed. This video is going to be the 5 daily makeup hacks that I do on a daily basis to keep myself looking fresh and just nice to, I guess, look at, presentable, if you could say. These are all like the 5 little hacks and tips that I do to just get me running out of the door. So this is like, this video is perfect if you're on the go or if you wake up late to work because you know, who knows what you've been doing the night before. <laughs> Great for people who, who's like on the go in a complete rush or if you have just 5 minutes out the door before you hit the walk of shame. So if you want to check that out, do keep on watching, do subscribe to my socials, uh, give this video a thumbs up if you, if you like it. Oh, and also I do want to note that if you guys see any redness around this region, it's because I'm on retinol right now, so I'm just not gonna do much to it because the more products I put on top of it, it kind of stings and my skin is a bit dry as well from the retinol, so just leave that aside. Also, don't judge the hair. It's the only kind of hair that I can have at the moment because of the... I gave myself like a quarantine haircut. It's not really a fade. It's more of like a failure. So yeah, don't judge. Keep that to yourself. And uh, yeah, let's proceed to the rest of the video. Let's go. Also, I would like to know that I don't really have a microphone at the moment. So if you guys hear echoes, it's definitely from like uh, the outside world where the birds are just on my clothes, my clothes hanger. And also like from my fan. So if you guys just hear that, just focus on my voice. Just focus on the you know the content of the video. Don't don't focus on the fan and the birds outside because they'll be trying it. And also like if you guys see the walls behind, I am looking for a painter, but you know it's not really the most uh, doable at the moment with the whole lockdown situation and also if you guys wonder why my walls are like that it's because I'm dying of boredom from being in lockdown for the past 1.5 years so I literally just peel off peel off the paint off my walls while I'm just completely in insanity and boredom Damn. So the first step that I do is my base. I already have uh, my whole skincare down. I already prepped, primed, uh, used a good moisturizer, a hydrating one since you know my skin is reacting to retinol at the moment. And also I've put on like uh, sunscreen on top. Don't sit sunscreen by the way. Don't do it. Don't, don't do it. And I also put on like a primer because I don't want to have my makeup sliding off under my mask in this heat so I already have all of that down so I, I'm not going to focus much on using foundation or whatever I'm just going to use a color corrector using a color corrector is def definitely going to give you that um, like I'm awake look you can also use an eye brightener such as the one from a I think it's from YSL uh, but I don't have that. I do want to get my hands on that. Mainly talking about the one from like Fenty Beauty, the yeah, Bright Fix Eye Brightener. I definitely have a video of it somewhere in my channel. Do check that out. And uh, I also do want to reiterate the fact that um, this is going to be a very lightweight sort of tutorial for those who are really quick and on the go. So if, if you guys don't have that sort of time for like blending and stuff and all that, this is perfect for you. I'm using the concealer from skin food is the salmon dark circle concealer cream and uh, I got this because I've been watching I have watched a lot of videos from Haley Kim's like I'll just link her channel down below so she uses this along with the NYX color correcting palette so I really do appreciate that because it is very hydrating and it feels nice on my skin so thank you Haley 
Uh, so I'm just gonna take a bit. This isn't a shade 2. The shade 2 is like a beige, but also with like very peachy undertones. I'm not sure if you guys can tell on camera, but you don't need to put a concealer on top of this to hide any like redness. Uh, because some color crackers tend to have like some sort of red in there, but this one doesn't. This has like a, a bit of a salmon finish, a salmon tone to it. But it's also very close to my skin tone and I'm more of like a neutral beige color. So I'm not too warm and not too cool tone as well. So this is perfect for me to you know just get out the door real quickly. Using a salmon or peach colored under eye or you know a color corrector in general will just counteract like the underlying darkness that you have under your eyes especially if you're not sleeping right or you know you have insomnia or nightmares or you're just busy all night but like you know this really does help the i guess the under eye region to help brighten it up and i also like the fact that skin food kind of formulated this with like hydrating ingredients to really help prep your under eyes and i also like how those ingredients kind of make this like a very smooth silky finish so that you know it doesn't seem creasy or cakey under the eyes I can really just put this on and go because that's how great this product is. It's definitely good if you're on the go and you don't you don't have time to put on like five layers of concealer under your eyes or anywhere in your face. So yeah, my tip is to use a corrector that's near your skin tone so that you can spot concealer as well, like this little guy right here. So I just put where I need. And I know like everybody's skin tone is different, N like even as an individual, no part of your skin is the same shade, like we all have different tones in our skin. So do keep that in mind, uh, just pick what works for you. Pick a concealer that has correcting abilities as well, so that you can be, you know, you can just put this on and head out the door, you don't have to do all the extra stuff. So this is what I'm gonna do next. I am going to be using a bronzer instead of a contour. I know this is probably like a no-brainer. A lot of you guys have known this from TikTok right now, but this really does work because I love how bronzers give you that definition and also gives you that sort of warmth that you need so that you, you know, you kind of look like you've been in the sun and not like quarantined for the past 1.5 years. <laughs> so, uh, so... But that's not what this video is about. This video is about how to get ready quickly. So that's what I will do. So what bronzer does is that it definitely gives your complexion some warmth, like you've been in the sun. And obviously pick a bronzer that fits your skin tone because this is, you're going to be quick. So you don't want to have to like blend it out and all that kind of stuff. Just pick one that's near your skin tone and that will just look natural. You know what I'm saying? So, because like if you pick a bronzer that's not really like your skin tone, of, like especially if you pick a bronzer that's too warm, when you're like very cool tone, it may look orange on your skin, and you don't want that. You don't want to look like Miss Trumpetian, you know. Uh oh, here we go. And I also do love defining my eyes with it. I find that when I define my eyes with bronzer, it kind of acts like a natural. It definitely does give me like more of a de uh, natural definition on my eyes and it kind of have to, it kind of like gives me that fake like uh eyeshadow moment it's like i'm faking a an eyeshadow look this one i'll be using like a shimmery bronzer this is by makeup revolution so this will give my face a nice sort of subtle glow but sometimes it's really nice to look warm and alive rather than just looking super snatched and skeletor like like skeletons you know from all that snatchery and contouring that you guys that we all do from time to time to hide all the quarantine snacks that we've been eating but yeah this is a nice departure from that this i'm just gonna use this as a little pick me up and just give myself a nice warm glow
Additionally, you can also use like a matte bronzer or a like a much more darker, cooler toned one if that's what you fancy. I have the Australis. Australis? It's called the Australis Sweet Like Chocolate Bronzer, and this is in the shade Semi Sweet Sun. This is slightly darker than the Makeup Revolution one, and it's completely matte, and it does smell a bit like chocolate. A bit. So, if you want something that to chisel your face a little bit more or to add more depth to your face, this is definitely what I use to just like use in the hollows of my face, and you can see that. It is definitely warmer than, I mean not warmer, but a bit cooler tone, but it's definitely deeper in color compared to the one in from the Makeup Revolution one. So just blend it out where necessary. Usually I would just use one bronzer, but this is just for demo. And I don't mind the extra snatchery anyway. I don't mind looking more chiseled. So, win-win. And definitely contour, uh, contour your nose as well, give it more depth. And, um, just put it, you can also put it around your eyes. I'll put that. I'm gonna use my fingers. So I'm just gonna put it around my eyes, kind of bring back that sort of dimension that's that's kind of like missing throughout your because you know how like concealers and sunscreen they kind of like take away that, that natural tone of your skin sometimes you don't want to look too you know you don't you don't want to deviate too much from your natural skin tone you know you can but it's going to take a lot more work and for this tutorial we're not going to do that because this is literally for anybody who just had you know like a deep deep appointment or you have a grocery run or you have like a quick meeting or you know just anything that requires you to get out the door in a snap. I'm gonna use a very pigmented brow pencil and I'm also gonna be using that eyebrow pencil as a liner if you get what I'm saying. I'm just gonna fill in like the areas with auto the eyebrow pencil you know, a little bit sparse in dense hair density. So it's just literally like the outline of my brows. Very good to go. And why I'm saying highly pigmented eyebrow pencil, it's because like you don't want to be using an eyebrow pencil that's like too sheer, sheer, I don't know what you call it, but this is nice because you can use it as eyeliner as well. I like to extend the outer corners of my eye to elongate them and to also like give them some sort of a definition as well. But it's mainly to just elongate it and to make my eyes look like, you know. And what's great about pencils is that you can just like dab it to like if you make any mistakes. Cause I'm not the best at eyeliner, so this is definitely gonna come in handy for those who are just not the most well acquainted with liners. So this just gives you that natural elongated eye look. So that's what I love doing on a daily basis when I couldn't really care for liner, you know? I'm gonna run through it very quickly as well, but I you can also use a like if you're someone who loves using mascara on a daily basis, if you if you have you know very natural long curled eyelashes that would be great you can just literally put on a mascara i love using this from misha yeah it's the 4d mascara by misha i just love how the bristles are short it really does get in there i don't use mascara on a daily because like my eyelashes tend to be really straight and it's kind of sparse anyway and uh so i don't really like using mascara like when i'm in a rush because i have to curl them and then like put like a primer, like a mascara primer, and then mascara on top is gonna take a lot more time. It's great for anybody who's in a rush and with mascara, my point with mascara is is that you can also use it on your brows as a brow gel. 
this will keep the hairs in place, make it look a little bit thicker and more, much more dense. So do that. And another tip is to you can use like a contour powder or like an an eyeshadow that's like a very very ashy. This one is by Merle, is it? I think it's called Merle. This is in the shade Jennifer Brown. So I'm just gonna link everything in the description box. So what you can do is actually just take like the powders here and just like go on top of your brows like that. Just ruffle them a little bit. This is gonna help darken them and also make them look a lot denser. And it's also going to set your brows in place. So if you have extra time, you can definitely do this. You can also take like a brush that's like sharper, has like a sharper end, and you can just fill in like the the sparse parts of your brows. So and additionally, you can also use this to contour your face if you know you don't have that much time to contour. But since we've already done that bit bronzer, we don't need to do that. Additionally, you can also use this like as a little like eyeshadow base so you can contour your face uh, but since we've already done that with bronzer we don't need to do that you can just further define your eyes with it if you want i'm just gonna add more depth into like the 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 low part like my eyelids basically i'm just gonna define that part and the outer region just to give it more definition and uh yeah you can also you can definitely use this for your brows as like a brow powder or you can also use this as a you know, contour or eyeshadow. Whatever floats your boat and finds your lost remote. So you can do that and if you guys still don't have brows, you can just go into the pencil after that. So just do that. Do not. So the next one is very common, very common and almost like a no-brainer. This is like a lip and cheek tint. So I have a few here. I definitely have more, but these these colors are the vibes that I'm going for today. I'm kind of going for like a reddish, reddish rose tone. I don't know what what do you guys want to call it. I have this one, my Lily by Red, and this like an orangey red. I don't think I'm gonna go with this, but this can be used as an example. You can also use like the one from Laneige, and I also have a much uh, more affordable alternative. This is a brand called Pink Flash and this is a I guess you could say this is like a brick rose kind of shade it's an orangey brick rose shade so as compared to the Laneige one this is a purely rose tone see how this is a lot more sheer than this and this has more of a pink undertone so compared to this this is a lot like a brownish orangey kind of shade. So I'm just gonna use a bit of my lip, dab it out, good to go. Then use it on your cheeks as well. And you don't want to be using too much on your cheeks. You don't want to look clownish. You don't want to look more like a clown than you already are. So always keep that in mind. And I love how these Laneige lip tints are very very sheer in a sense where you can build it up and not look clownish at all and it definitely does feel good on, on your skin too so i'm just gonna go with a subtle blush i don't want anything too overpowering and don't be using glosses though glosses on your cheeks i mean they're good in photos and all that but with, in this heat and all that and you're wearing a mask it's definitely gonna leave a mark not only on your mask, but the mask is gonna like get into the gloss there and it's gonna leave like a little dent there. And you don't want that. And you also don't want to be looking too sticky or grimy. Last but not least, shimmer blush. So I used to hate blush when I was younger. I just didn't understand it at all. I was just I was really into the lifestyle of looking really, really pale and sickly and not being in the sun all the time. As I've you know, gotten older and you know, got more matured over the years. I find that you know, blush is actually not that bad. It actually does bring life to your face. So in this case, I'm just gonna be using a shimmer blush, and I have the ones from Wet and Wild. This is the uh, ombre ombre blush in the shade My Tai Bu My Tai Bayou a Drink. And in that note, 
I could use, really use a drink. But uh, yeah, I also have the other one from Catrice Cosmetics. I love Catrice Cosmetics, you know. I'm a Catrice stan, have always been a Catrice stan since 2016. Even back when I was in uni, I'd be just be using this brand, but to the core, okay? Like, because it's so affordable and, you know, when you're in uni, you don't really have that much money. And I would just use Catrice Cosmetics for every single thing. So just love these two together and these two are like shimmer blushes. You can see it's very iridescent. So I'm not sure you guys can tell on camera but it is very shimmery and uh, also with this one. This one has more of a pink pigment to it. It has more of a pink shimmer so. So yeah this just gives you like a really nice flushed look and a very nice subtle sheen as well if you guys can tell. And if you feel, if you guys feel like you've added too much blush or like too much um, shine to your face with highlighters or whatever, you can always just matte it down or like blur it out with a translucent powder, which is what I'll probably do afterwards because I haven't set my face yet and I'll definitely have to set my face before wearing a mask for stepping outside. Obviously, if you guys want, you can use like a liquid a liquid shimmer, like a liquid highlighter slash blush. You know, another trick is to definitely mix your highlighter, your liquid highlighters with your liquid blush. You can definitely achieve that look. You can also achieve that by using a powdered blush and a highlighter as well. You can just mix those two together or layer them. But like I said, this is for this, this tutorial is for those who are in a rush. So you keep that in mind. Do this for yourself, okay? You want to look like you have a subtle, highlighted, glowy, flush tone on your skin for yourself. Don't do it for any man, don't do it for any any girl, anybody. Don't do it for anybody, do it for yourself. And I'm looking alive today because I want to feel alive for myself. Period! And on that note, this tutorial is done. So this is the look up close and personal. And uh, as you can tell, it's a very natural, very glowy kind of look that makes you... Basically, this look is gonna make you look very fresh, dewy, juicy, hydrated, fertile, whatever you want to call it. It definitely does give me a very nice sheen. I'll definitely have to powder it down a little bit. And you guys, if you guys notice that you have, you still have blemishes and all that, on your skin just embrace it you know it's really not that big of a deal breakouts come and go but you know just make sure you're wearing your mask and staying safe because like i said breakouts come and go but you don't come and go you know there's only one of you in a lifetime so you're not replaceable you're not like a breakout some of you do live rent free though but i'm just saying take care just take care Focus on your self-care. This is a form of self-care for me and uh, really just take care of yourself and take care of each other because we really do need that at the moment. So on that note, I'm going to end this video and if you guys enjoyed whatever you just watched, do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, I'll be posting a lot more on my socials because that's all I can do at the moment. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video and have a nice day and stay safe. Bye.